Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning to all my students. Today we are going to continue our discussion on the topic for conics, and uh, specifically we are going to look into the topic of ellipse. Okay. So to make it uh, we call short uh, just to imagine how what is that we call how the what is the shape of uh, ellipse looks like. Is you can just imagine that. If you have seen a we call a rugby ball before, okay, a rugby ball with something that we call, I have no idea on how to describe this, but then this is how it looks like, okay. So just imagine that if we have the center of this, and we have the minor axis and the major axis, okay. <clears throat> So at the end of lesson, students should be able to determine the equation of ellipse with the center of h and k and the foci or this one here now, all the vertices, foci and major and minor axis and determine the center using completing the square method. Okay, so now just imagine that if this we call x and y axis, so we have a, uh, we call an ellipse in this shape here for a while, okay, something like this. Just in, just in, we call, in, uh, we call, assume that the center of this uh, ellipse at a, uh, we call at the origin point of zero, zero. So by looking at this, we notice that this is the major axis and this is the minor. So in between this center and the vertices, okay, vertices, buchu, Okay, at the vertices of this ellipse, there is center in between this and the vertices and the center and the vertices. There's a uh, <coughs> focus point of F1 and F2. Okay. <coughs> so an ellipse is defined as a locus of a point P. Okay, locus of a point P in a plane such that the sum of the distance from P to a fixed point is a constant, okay? <clears throat> and the two fixed points are the four sides. So we have F1 and F2. So we have horizontal major axis and vertical major axis. Okay? So class... <clears throat> uh, if you refer to some of uh, reference books, okay, if you refer to some of reference book, they will uh, make it something like this. As you see, on a horizontal major axis, we have x minus h squared divided by a squared plus y minus k squared divided by b squared equal to 1. Where a is greater than b, where a is a major and major is under the x. So, to recall as a conclusion that this is a horizontal major axis. And for vertical, uh, look at this one here, x minus h in bracket square divided by b square plus y minus k in bracket square divided by a square, where a is greater than b. Where A is major greater than B, A is major below the Y, then it is a vertical major axis. In some books, there will remain that we call this one, even though it's vertical major axis, they will give come up with A square under the X and B square under the Y, and they come up with B is greater than A in some books. Okay? So uh, to make we call uh, we call centralized or to make it uh, equal to all the matriculation, especially for KMPP, we decide to we decide to uh, we call declare that A is always greater than B, no matter whether A is under the X, just like this. Or A is under Y. Okay, example for this one here now. So where A is always greater than B, 
if a is under the x as a denominator for x then x will become the major axis and if a is uh, a is greater than b where major and we call as a denominator of y then it, y is the major axis okay so please stick with this okay please stick with this uh, if you refer to some other reference book they will come up with uh, we call a square and b square and they decide uh, because they declare that b is greater than a so they will be a little bit different from this version okay please don't follow that not to make all of you confused so just follow this uh, version okay so then So this is the focus point, fixed point of F1 and F2. We, as I said, we call the plural of for two focus point as a four side. Okay. And then vertex, buchu in Bahasa Melayu is buchu, V1 and V2. Actually, that you also de declare this as a V3 and V4. But we just declare the V1 and V2, the vertex for the major axis. Okay, two straight lines passing through F1 and F2 is called a major axis. And this is minor. And the center here, and ellipse, the ellipse is symmetrical about the major and minor axis. And the length of the major axis is 2A. Okay, <coughs> the length of major axis. So from this V1 to the center is... And A, so another A here, so from V1 to V2 is 2A. Okay. And the length of minor, so from here to here is B, and also here is B. So from this, from this point to this point is 2B. So, equation of ellipse with center of H and K. Okay, so the center, uh, for example, if we have x minus 3 squared divided by 16 plus y, minus, y plus 2 squared divided by 25 equal to 1. So, look at this. x minus 3, then x equal to 3, y equal to negative 2. These are the center of this uh, ellipse, for example. But this is not it. Okay, never mind. Okay, so then h and k and major and minor axis that the four side or two focus point so class this is a h and k so from h and k to f1 and f2 it move we call c unit to the left and c unit to the right h plus c and h minus c and this one, uh, we call, according to this one here, A is greater than B. So, the major axis, we call the major vertices here, H from center, H minus A, and H plus A. And for the minor axis. Okay. So, A and B. So, look at this one here now, class. Why do we stick the we call the A is always greater than B? So if A is under the Y, then it becomes the major uh, we call uh, major for Y, but this one is A, A under the X is a horizontal but we call major axis. If A is under Y and become the vertical major axis. Because we want to stick with this formula, c squared equal to a squared minus b squared. Where c uh, will give you the hints of the foresight, f1 and f2. Okay.
Okay, now. So, determine the center, foci, vertices, major and minor axis of the following uh, ellipse. So, from here, uh, x equal to negative 4 and y equal to negative 3 from here. This is the uh, center. Okay. A, x and y here is the center where is negative 4 and negative 3. And we refer to this x minus h square divided by a square plus y minus k square divided by b square equal to 1. Okay, compare this with this one here where a square equal to 169, then a equal to plus minus 13. And look at this one here now, b square b square equal to 25, then b equal to plus minus 5. Okay, where <coughs> we call 13 is greater than 5, meaning this become the major axis, the x become the major axis. So according to this one here, if this is an x and also y axis, the center is negative 4. Okay, I can Okay. Y and X. Uh, X negative 4 and negative 3 here yeah. so this is negative 4 and negative 3 uh, okay it's not possible because it looks like the distance uh, well, it looks the same okay so it's not here so somewhere here a little bit far negative 4 okay and then um, what else c equal c square equal to a square minus b square which is 169 minus 25 equal to 9 minus 5 equal to 4 6 minus 2 equal to 4 and 1 so then c equal to uh, c square equal to 144 then c equal to plus minus 12 okay class so which i think that i'm going to make this one smaller uh, so we can sketch the we call the ellipse uh, clearly and easily Okay, we have negative 4 and negative 3. Here is the center, negative 4 and negative 3. And we have equal A equal to 13. So just imagine that we move 13 units to the right and 13 units to the left. Okay. So, negative 4 plus 13. Negative 4 plus 13, which I think that somewhere on negative 4. 13 minus 4 equal to 9. Okay. This is something we call uh, 9 and negative 3. And here is somewhere around, okay, negative 4 minus 13. It is negative 17 and negative 3. Okay. And then, uh, what about a minor? Minor is 5. So, move 5 units above and 5 units downward. So, from negative 3 plus 5 is 2. Okay. 2 here. Negative 4 and 2. And negative 3. 5 units downward. It is uh, negative 4 and negative 8. Okay, if you sketch it, 
is something like this it's not very smooth okay okay it's not very smooth then but then you can use any math graph apps to sketch the graph yeah and then what is this or what is the foresight of this the we call the focus point so from negative 4 and negative 3 so both 12 units negative 4 minus 12 negative 16 f1 negative 16 and negative 3 and negative 4 move 12 needs to the right it is now 8 and negative 3 okay so class uh, you may substitute this equation okay I'm always use the what we call website of desmos.com okay www dot desmos com to get a picture the graph of this okay uh, I'll try to sketch it here if possible okay Hold on. Okay. So if you can see this, okay. If you can see this, um, maybe something like this. Uh, it's hard for me to show it here. Okay, never mind. You can, I do, I do believe that all of you know how to recall access to this website and substitute recall the equation of this to get the picture of the ellipse. Okay, I'm sorry for this, uh, what a mess uh, picture then. Okay, so then the vertices is negative 17, negative 17 and negative 3 and V2, 9, negative 3. Major axis equation, negative 3 and 26 units and all this. Okay, you may just check by yourself. Right? Okay, now, it is with vertical major axis, vertical major. So, major means that we consider any value of denominator which is bigger than we consider this as an a squared okay so it become the vertical major axis so the minor we call major here line minor the center focus point the minor vertices and the major vertices here okay now compared to this one here <coughs> x minus h square divided by b square plus y minus k square divided by a square equal to 1 <coughs> okay so once we compare this then you can see clearly here okay b square equal to 9 b square equal to 9 then b equal to plus minus 3 and a square equal to 25 then a equal to plus minus 5 okay and c square equal to a square minus b square which is uh, 25 minus 9 equal to 16 okay and so then c equal to plus minus 4 so then now let's find out the center of this Uh, the center here is x equal to 5 and y equal to negative 3. So x equal to 5 here and x equal y equal to negative 3. Okay, yeah. Mm, equal okay to the right. So I'm going to sketch it again.
no, no, that. Okay, x equal to 5 and y equal to negative 3. Yeah, so this is the center. So now, the major is y. So, from negative 3, just imagine that if we move 5 units above. So, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Somewhere around here. Okay. And then negative 3, move 5 units downwards, it becomes negative 8. Let's say here. Okay. So, this is, <coughs> um, the center is 5, negative 3. So, this is 5 and 2. And here is 5. Okay, this is not the center here. This is the center. 5 and negative 8. And the minor, the mi minor here is 9. Become 3 here. So 5, both 3 units to the left. 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, here and oh, somewhere around here. And 5 plus 3 equal to and. So, sketch the graph. Something like this. Okay. And the focus point must lies in between the center and the major axis. So, it is 4. Okay. C equal to 4 here. So, move 4 units above. This is 2. And supposedly it's 1 here. So, this is F1. And this is F2. Okay. So, the vertices, the major, the length of major and minor axis, and the length of minor axis then. Okay. Example 3. Okay. Now, find the equation of ellipse with center of 1, 3, focus at 1, 6, and vertex at 1, 10. So look at this. Uh, all the coordinates begin with x equal to 1. So which I think that is a parallel between the center and the focus and the vertex. Okay, class. Focus point is always on the line of the major axis. It's whether x or y. So then, if that's so... Um, One, three, one, one and three. Okay, focus at one and six, and the vertex is one and ten. One, three, one, six, and one, ten. So, <clears throat> what about this? What do you think? Uh, it's a major axis of a recall. Uh, major axis on we call the vertic vertical axis here. So from 10 to 3, where the center here is 1 and 3. Uh, the distance from the center to the vertex uh, to the focus. Okay, so class from this okay, from this uh, question, it gives us clues that. Where c square equal to a square minus b square. So from center to the focus is the distance is 3. 6 minus 3 equal to 3. So then uh, c equal to 3. Okay. And then from center to the major vertices because focus is always lie. Okay, the focus point is always lies on the major axis, is whether x vertical or uh, we call y vertical or x horizontal. So now it lies on the vertical major axis and from 10 minus 3 equal to 7, a equal to 7. So from here we call c equal to 3, so 3 square equal to 9, a equal to 7, then a square equal to 49 minus b square. Okay, so b square equal to and the Bring this 49 to the left side, become negative. So we have negative b here. Negative b, negative b equal to 
9 minus 49, where is equal to negative 40, negative b square. So then b equal to negative, negative become positive. So b square equal to square root of 40, which is equal to, can we simplify this? Okay, plus minus 2 square root of 10. Okay, so b is 2 square root of 10. So it might be like somewhere around here, 2 square of 10. 2 square of 10, what is the value of 2 square of 10? Okay, so 2 square root of 10, 6.3245, which is plus minus 6.32. Okay, so... And uh, the A equal to 7, so it means there's somewhere around here and somewhere around here. This is center. Oh, no, no, sorry. It's not here. Okay, so from 3 to 6, the distance is 3. So 3 here equal focus equal to 0 and then from 3 to 7, 3 plus 7 equal to 10. So 3 minus 7, negative 4. Okay, negative 4 here. And then from here, we move to the left and move to the right. Okay, no. Okay, from here, move 6.32 to the left and 6.32 to the right. So this is it. Oh, it's not on the, it's not on the y-axis, sorry. It's supposedly somewhere around here. So then, okay. My hand sketching is not very smooth, sorry. Okay, so now the distance from the, uh, we call the center to the vertices is 7. And the center from the center to the force, uh, focus point, the force side is, is 3. Okay. And the distance from here, the, major, the minor to the center here is to square root of 10. Okay. Okay. Now, determine the center and foresight of an ellipse by completing the square. So, class, in this case, you need to be good in what we call the process of completing the square. Squaring, we call solving this in completing the square. Then. So, uh, let's bring this next to the x and this one next to the y. So we have 4x squared minus 16x plus y squared minus 10y plus 25 equal to 0. Okay, so let's begin the process slowly. Uh, before we begin the process of computing the square, make sure that the coefficient of x squared coefficient of y square equal to yes equal to one so it means that for this one here let's factorize x x square minus four four times x square for x square four times negative four equal to negative 16x okay plus y square minus 10y plus 25 equal to 0. So then for this one here now, x square minus 4x plus negative 4 over 2 square minus negative 4 over 2 square. Okay, and then plus with y square minus 10y plus negative 10 over 2 square minus negative 10 over 2 square. OK, 
okay plus 25 equal to 0 so now for this three terms one two three here four and it become x negative four divided by two negative two square minus negative four divided by two negative two so negative four divided by two negative two negative two square equal to four okay and this one here negative ten divided by two y minus five square negative 10 divided by 2 equal to negative 5 negative 5 square equal to 25 minus 25 equal okay wait i'm sorry i forgot something minus 25 plus 25 equal to 0 okay so now class 25 minus 25 Okay, don't forget we have to 4 here that we need to multiply with this and this one. So 4x minus 2 square plus, okay, no, plus minus 4 times negative 4 equal to minus 16 plus y minus 5 square equal to 0. Then 4x minus 2 square plus y minus 5 square equal to 16 bring to the side become 16 here and then divide by 4 all these terms 1 2 and 3 divide by 4 or multiply with 1 over 4 here i can wait, wait wait sorry sorry it's not divide by 4 i'm sorry i misunderstood with this one here now sorry because our equation x minus h square divided by a square plus y minus k square divided by b square equal to 1. Meaning, we are going to divide by 16. All the term left and right. Okay. So, class, what we get here now? 4 divided by 16 is x minus 2 square divided by 4 plus y minus 5 squared divided by 16 equal to 1. Okay. x minus 2 squared divided by 4 plus y minus 5 squared divided by 16 equal to 1. Okay. Shall I read, write, rewrite this here clearly? x minus 2 squared divided by 4 plus y minus 5 square divided by 16 equal to 1. There you go. Okay. So, what is the center of this uh, equation here? The center here now is x equal to 2 and y equal to 5. Okay. And then, the, we call the foci <coughs> x minus 2 square divided by 4 plus y minus 5 square divided by 16 equal to 1. So, this is b. b square equal to 4 and a square equal to 16. With a major value of a and is under y. Meaning that is a horizontal, a vertical major axis. Okay. So then, uh, C square equal to A square minus B square. 16 minus 4 equal to 12. Then C equal to plus minus square root of 12. Where B equal to plus minus 2 and a equal to plus minus 4 okay so then the fourth side is okay the cent, uh, major vertices v1 and v2 major vertices major is y here now and the center is 2 and 5 so then we change recall the value of 5 will change to uh, plus with then major axis so v1 here is 2 and 5 plus 4 equal to 9 and here 2 uh, 
okay 5 minus 4 uh, we call 5 minus 4 equal to 1 and the four side uh, 2 5 uh, 5 plus square root of 12 and f2 2 5 minus square root of 12 so this is it the question wants us to find the center and the vertices and the foci there you go okay now given that f1 the we call the foci the first focus point is f1 and f2 okay if you refer to if you sketch the graph here F1 is negative 2 and 3. Negative 2 and 3. F1. And another one is 4 and 3. F2. So class, if the major axis, if the we call the focus point, on the major x axis meaning this is horizontal we call horizontal ellipse okay with the length of major axis equal to 10 major of uh, the length of major axis meaning from v1 the major of vertices of uh, x axis v1 and v2 uh, distance from v1 to v2 equal to 10 unit okay determine the equation of this ellipse so uh, 2a equal to 10 then a equal to 5 units each so uh, between f1 and f2 what is the center between this because the distance from center to F1 is equal to the center to F2. Okay, so um, from negative 2 to 4, negative 2 to 0 is 2 units, and 0 to 4 means that 6 units. So the distance, be, okay, the center between these two focus points is uh, the center here is 1 and 3 sketch is ellipse the graph here okay so uh from one to this point of uh, negative two and three one zero negative one negative two three units one two three four three units okay so the distance between these two here is six and v1 to v2 is 10 units so the distance from one from this center to v1 is five it's supposedly five okay one okay uh, it is one minus five zero negative one negative two negative three and negative four it is negative four and three and here is 1, okay, uh, from here 1, 2, 3, okay, 1 plus 3 equal to 4, uh, 5 and 6. So it is 6 and 3, okay. So A equal to 5 and then C equal to from 1 to negative 1 to 4 is 3 units 3 so uh, wait, wait the center is 1 and 3 so c square equal to a square minus b square where c equal to 3 3 square equal to 9 a equal to 5, 25 minus B square. And then negative B square equal to 9 minus 25 equal to negative 16. Okay. 
negative negative become positive so then b equal b square equal to 16 then b equal to plus minus 4 so just imagine that from this center we move 4 units above 3 okay 4 5 6 7 and then 3 2 1 0 and negative 1 okay so from here, negative 2, negative 2, 4, which I think is supposed to be right here. You sketch it nicely. I can't sketch it. We call, uh, we call nicer than this using the this board. Okay. So. I leave it to all of you, but then this is how we recall find the center and the vertices. So then, uh, let's say this is V1, negative 4 and 3 and 6 and 3. Okay, class, uh, the last final part here. where c equal to 1 and 3. So, class uh, given to us over here, which is c, a, and b equal to plus minus 4. So, x minus h square divided by a square minus plus y minus k square divided by b square equal to 1. So, what is the value of h here? Yes, h equal to 1 x minus 1 square divided by is a what we call horizontal major axis so then the a is bigger we call the value of a is 5 5 square is 25 plus y minus k equal, hk equal to 3 square divided by b equal to 4 4 square equal to 16 it is equal to 1 Okay, so this is it. Okay, by the way, class, from x minus 1 square divided by 25 plus y minus 3 square divided by 16 equal to 1. Okay, from this is what we call standard equation for ellipse. And the general equation, we have x squared plus well, something plus y squared plus something plus something equal to 0. Okay. Uh, just like this. Okay. This is then uh, the equation of ellipse. Uh, how are we going to change this? Okay. From a standard equation to the general equation. So just imagine that if I multiply 16 here and 16 here, 25 here and 25 here, open up the bracket, expand it and simplify, you will get a general equation. Okay. So just imagine that it has 16 x minus 1 square plus 25 y minus 3 square equal to 25 times 16. And you will get a general equation of this. Uh, 16x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 25y squared minus 6y plus 9 equal to 25 times 16. 25 times 16, 400. Okay. So, 16x squared minus 32x plus 16 plus 25y squared minus 25 times 6 minus 150y plus 25 times 25 times 9 plus 225 equal to 400. So, look at this one here, 16 and 225. 
bring to the side, the other side here. So we have 16x squared minus 32x plus 25y squared minus 150y equal to, okay, 400 minus, okay, 2 to 5 positive, bring to the side, become negative. So minus 2 to 5. Okay, wait. 400 minus 2 to 5. And 16, positive, bring to the side, become negative. Minus 16. It become 159. So then 16x squared minus 32x plus 25y squared minus 150y minus 159 equal to 0. That's it. Okay. So from standard equation to general equation, we expand it and simplify. And from general to standard equation, use completing the square. Okay. So that's all which I think that you can just read all the notes from here again. There's a conclusion for this topic. And I do hope that you can just recall, you may continue with your tutorial and PSPM exercise. Uh, that's all for today. Okay, how much that left hand? Yeah. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much. Till we meet again. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And have a nice day.